So today we kick off what would normally be our midsummer tradition. Just special to have fast food in an airport. And got a bottle of beer. Oh. So that they put ordering and they just Good morning. It's 9.44 a.m. and it's Sunday, June 2nd. So today we kick off what would normally be our midsummer tradition. Uh, for the first time, we'll be doing it in June. Even in early June. Normally we do it at the end of July, maybe early August. In previous years, so in 2016, We'd been to Voyage Hotel in the middle of August, where eventually me and my father had been to the hotel at the Dead Sea. I'm going to try and remember. Flamingo. It was Flamingo Hotel because we did go there again. In 17, we went to the Hilton Hotel in Bodrum, beginning of August. And then the following year, we returned there at around the same time. In 2019, though, we skipped our Bodrum trip because for that period we were in the US for five weeks and in 2020 and 21 we went to Sinemia instead if you remember from the boat trips that we did. We did though return to our Bodrum vacations in 2022 with a trip to B Premium Hotel in mid-July and then the next year we went to the same place except we went to the Sianxi Hotel, and that was towards the end of July. Today, we're going to be heading to Kefaloka Resort on June 2nd. Wow. Time for lunch now. It is already close to midday, and that's Sparrow. And down here, they got Happy Moons, which is currently under maintenance. They got Cafenero next to that. If it was one of those days I would be heading to the US, then I'd try it out. But it's just special to have fast food in an airport. Well, that was nice. It's the first time I have been to fast food restaurant in an airport. And what's crazy is they still have this thing. Like, <laughs> is it even relevant anymore? I don't think so. Got to the lounge now, and good thing that we picked the edge because look, there's air charge. Somewhere you can charge your device. Yeah, I'm the plane, uh, take off in a while and let's do this.
this airport last year got really really windy at some point like five to ten minutes before i landed but this one is a whole lot better gentlemen and dear children we hope that you had a pleasant flight for your safety please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off and do not open the overhead bin It's 4.51 p.m. I just came into the room and it's a room with the sea view, not just the sea, but all these small buildings here, these villas. And if you can see that mirror over there, that's stylish. If you can see what's on the edge of these mirrors, I like that. You see that fish? That's satisfying, but that also really, really suitable for this kind of hotel. Just looking out the balcony, those are the other rooms, and there's a swimming pool here. Well, in fact, I can count one. Well, that's a big swimming pool, by the way, if it's just this one. Can even make myself tea with this. That's great. And the Calvin Klein after shave. Yeah, got a little bit wet, even though we put it in that bag it's it looks kind of weird now nah, look i got a bottle of beer oh wow okay i'm just touring around this huge it's a huge hotel so we got we got a pool with the water slides still functioning that's good it's got this main pool here and yeah, I mean, this does remind me of that big pool that I went in the Sianji Hotel last year. It does have a bridge, you see. And a live bar. Yeah, I mean, they have something like this as well at the Sianji Hotel. You can sit there and have a beer, you can get drunk and all that, and just listen to live music. This is really cool. And over there, that's the kids' playground not gonna go there i do want to find that place that you know there's this water spinning stuff not, like not little water slides though but right next to that look at this you even got a gold net on the side of the pool it's kind of funny are you playing soccer or what and yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys look at that you even got this bell well i think three of them even you got that parrot on one side and you got two of these bells that they put water in and they just they dump it out. They do have something like this at the former Hilton Hotel too, but man, this is even better. Got another bucket over here. Man, gives you that feeling that you're in a rainforest. This is so detailed, so significant and cool. That's flat. Now, I really like this. In tomorrow's long vlog, I'm going to take you guys around this side as well and a little bit more around here as I will continue with my hotel tour. From what I have found, there's a, there's a live music event tonight at 10 p.m. Oh, even inside the hotel, it is really, really hot. I checked from my phone and it says 27 Celsius degrees here, but it certainly should be higher than that because I found out that the humidity level is 5%, believe it, 5%. And then take these elevators up now, but you will see a surprise in a minute. Over here, these are rooms 6200 to 6214. So, and then take this elevator up to level two. Okay, so this elevator serves four floors between B1 and 2, where you got on one side rooms 5100 and 5200. And see what that is. It's a techno lift elevator. Anyway, so now I am on the second floor, and this floor serves on the left side from 8100 to 8125. And 
and they're right there from 8200 to 8213. But get ready for the surprise. You see, you even got these stairs that take you up to the very top of the building. I'm just gonna go through and see what that is. Wow. That yeah, must be like a rooftop terrace spot. It does smell like chlorine in here. They do a lot of cleaning in this area. So hopefully, oh, it's locked. So can't even go up there. I got another elevator at the right there. You see, this looks pretty much like the fish as well, by the way. And yeah, if you can see the year it was painted, by the way, it was 2009. But not only this, like, you can as well see, what even is this? It looks like two swords and a ring inside out of the rings, or how can I say that? On one side, you got something that looks pretty much like a bell, but the fact that it's yellow, it looks quite simple to tell what that is. Oh, I did find the, this picture over here, if I go all the way to the left, and yeah. There's a picture of the bell over here. You can see Tansel Tugdon painted in 2009. So there's the artist and the year it was painted. So yeah, that's the one I was talking about. And this elevator serves every single floor in this hotel from two to B7. And look, if we take the stairs up from this side over here, that's where you got all the elevator functioning equipment, so that's the techno lift. Okay, well now I'm gonna get back into my room, 8209. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope you had fun watching this. If you did so, then do show a like. It's gonna be a long episode tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Have a wonderful new week, bye.